Station Road and the arches. Yeah. Yeah. You've been here many years. How many years you been here? Thirty plus years. Thirty plus, easy. So what does that mean for the local, for the for all the business people along here? Well, it means that their businesses will come to an end overnight. If you go back ten years ago, the shops catered for the local community. Right. And now those the, those shops have gone down and down and down. Uh, so there's even fewer shops catering for the local community. You're going this way? Yeah. yeah. They're mostly catering for what we call uh, retail tourists. They come into Brixton to drink and eat and then go back to where they live. Whereas the shops that are catering for people who live in Brixton, feel an identity to Brixton, are getting smaller and smaller in number. And if these shops go, these shops all serve the local community except for the bar which is just about to open all the <laughs> other shops cater for local people your dad has been here for 38 years yeah the shop and they're gonna get it's you out like, as well yeah, it's, it's right down the whole street this side and atlantic 38 yeah. years so what's that 19 it's late 70s late 70s yeah. Yeah, I was born on this road, Sta yeah. You born on Station Road? Yeah, I remember when they built this. Uh, a young little lad then, but... Yeah? Yeah, I still do remember it. Wow. So how do you feel about this whole thing? It's, it, my dad's coming towards retirement, so it's not that bad. It's just the way they're doing it. I mean, there's no, like, if I, if I wanted to take other business, I just don't have... I, don't, I can't do that now, can I? Right, right, right. He's just, just getting thrown out, basically. And it's like... And he's been one of their longest serving tenants. And the tree is getting treated like this throughout all the riots, through riots we've been through. You know, when this place with the drug dealers everywhere, you know, crackheads everywhere. Yeah. We've been through it all. And nobody, you know, paid attention to us then, did they? Wow. And now, obviously, what they're going to do is, what I believe is, do up all the shops, triple the rent, and then automatically we won't be able to afford it. How long you been here? 15 years. How you feel? You feel like shit? Yeah. You gonna stay here and fight? Yeah, obviously, you have to train me. You're not just gonna give it up to go. I'm just like surviving to manage to pay all this. Sure. But if you now now as you see, so many competitions, so difficult. So if they put 15 or 20,000 pounds or 30,000 pounds, no way I can pay them. What do you, so what do you think they're trying to do to Brixton? and this and that, what they see so far, they like try to make it a push, not the Brixton anymore, like uh, Piccadilly or someone else. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Bring all the push people here, yeah, the poor people like us. Father. Wow. I'd say, what this little stretch of Brixton represents? Atlantic Road, going straight through to Station Road. This is really the heartbeat of the community, you understand? And as much as they try to drive the people out, man will always find a little something, something to do to generate a little bit of financial income, to pay their rent, to come back the next day. And once they get rid of these brothers here, once they get rid of all these men here, then the bricks that we know as being a part of our community is finished, it's done. How many years have you been here? I came in Brixton 1975. Wow. I came to Arcade first. Yeah. So slowly, slowly, we come here, we're still here. 1975, Seven. our second Pakistani was in Brixton. Second, there was no Asian was in Brixton. Wow. And it was fantastic. People say Brixton is bad, but I'm not saying bad. It's fantastic. We have a very good time with everybody. We didn't get any problem. Yeah. 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 1975 is quite a long time. How, you, how, how How's it affecting you? 
I've been here 22 years, number one. And they just want us to just go like that. 22 years? 22 years in the same place. Wow. I came in here, I was so young now, I'm old. I was thinking to retire and, and sell my business and then... Sure. So now, I have to go with nothing. I've got mortgages, I've got children in school, I've got families. So what do I do? Oh gosh. It says they give you six months. What's six months to do what? Yeah. What would I be doing for six months? Yeah, six months to go and find somewhere. Where's the money? Yeah. I put all my hope in there. I show it from here to the other side, you know. Okay. They've got all these big business who want to take it and have money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they don't even tell us, okay, we're going to add 45% to your rent or we're going to do this. Nobody offer us anything. Okay. They just say, go. So have they have the local counsellors said anything about this? Well, um, one of the shopkeepers got hold of, of a cabinet member and we're arranging a meeting with him. He said there's a meeting arranged for the 24th of the month, but we said that's too late. So we're trying to arrange a meeting next week with him to discuss what Lambeth can do to help us. I was going to say, and, and if there was anything that you wanted to get out of the meeting, what would it be? Well, Lambeth, 110% support. Because don't forget, they, the Network Rail have to get planning permission. Sure. So, you know, there's everything to play for. And if the council are supporting us, then we've got a chance. Okay. If these shops go, Brixton, as you know, will be finished.